Did I just find the cheapest Stream Deck alternative? Mountain sent us the Display Pad and the Macro Pad, so let's take a look. We're gonna unpack the Mountain Display Pad. The quick start guide is up here. Then here we have the base. It's pretty solid. Here we got the display pad. The buttons feel clicking. So you definitely know when you are activating one. And then we have USB-C to USB for connecting it to your PC. To set this up, it's super simple. We just click this and then we put the USB-C in the back. And now the only thing we need to do is put this in our computer. The macro pad is a stream deck, but without a display, which makes it a lot, lot cheaper. We're gonna unpack the mountain macro pad. Here we go. Manual seems to be in the top here. The heavy base. This seems to be the pad itself. We got M1 until M12, these on here. We've got one of these tools to remove keycaps and replace them. So I guess you can replace them with custom keycaps. And we got a USB-C to USB, USB cable. So we can push it in here. Then we can attach it to our computer. Now we have 12 keys that we can basically customize to whatever we want. Download the software to start. So here we have the display pad. And if I click on customize, then here we can start customizing the buttons. So you can just click on the button and then here you can give it a function. We can create a folder inside the display pad. We can have no function. We can have an operating system function from Windows. So run task manager, opening calculator, run explorer, lock the computer, shut down the computer, sleep and hibernate. If you have shut down or sleep, on this pad, be aware that if you click it, your computer actually is gonna shut down or sleep. So there's also a side pad on the side of the keyboard. One of the standard functions on here is already sleep. And I was like, what are these buttons doing right now? And I clicked on them and my PC went into sleep mode. Whoops. So these are definitely buttons to watch out for. Then we have run browser and we can have a URL being opened to the browser. Run program, open a folder on your computer. We can run a macro right here. We can interact with media. So pause, play, previous track, next track, volume up and stuff like that. Keyboard shortcuts. What we have is mouse button. So we can actually click the left button. So now this button left clicks. So I can just left click with the display pad right now. You can also right click forward backwards, just like the page buttons that you sometimes have on your mouse. Profile, we can switch the profile of the display pad. So you have different profiles right here. We have a clock, PC info, about your CPU, your GPU, your internet and stuff like that. We can also have OBS functions in here. We can have profile on OBS. We can switch scenes, sources, source visibility, transitions, volume, streaming, recording. So you can turn those off and on. So you can turn on studio mode, replay buffer, you can open media. If you log in with your Twitch, you can also set a Twitch function, a thread message that you're Account is going to be sending. You can see how many viewers you have right now. You can play an ad. You can change the stream title. You can set it on sub only chat or slow chat or follower only or emote only chat. You can have create a stream marker so you can have a marker in your VOD. You can clear the chat, create a clip and open the last clip. We have some Adobe things as well uh, for Illustrator, Premiere Pro and Photoshop. And then the last one is some things for DaVinci Resolve. So these are some things that you can interact with DaVinci Resolve with. You can change the image that is displayed right on this button. So for example, the Twitch logo and our Twitch logo is right on here. You can also browse your own files to add your own image. What we also have is the macro pad and the macro pad does have keys as well, but these keys are M one to m12 so these don't have a display but you can basically do the same function so all these functions that you could do on the display pad you can also do them on the macro pad the downside is you don't know which button it is because you don't have a display on the keyboard itself there's also some buttons on this extension like i said this button is already on sleep default so don't press it make sure that you put on something else here if you don't want this to be sleep mode for your pc i wouldn't do that myself just because I'm afraid that if I'm streaming that I might press this button. So I would recommend like either clearing this button or putting something else on this button. This numpad with the buttons here is only available with this keyboard from Mountain. We can remove this part if we don't like it. Same goes for this media player up here. We can pause and play music and stuff like that. And we can have a clock. These are only working together. However, the macro pad and the display pad both work if you don't have a mounting keyboard. And I hear you say, what is the upside for using a display pad in comparison to 
for example, the Elgato Stream Deck, it's the price. They are a lot cheaper, especially the macro pad is a lot cheaper. You don't see what you're pressing, but you do have like different buttons that you can set on whatever, and they come in really cheap. What do I think of this? I think this is a great solution for people that are on a budget but still want to add some buttons. A lot of people think that streaming is unreachable for people that don't have a big budget, but it isn't. You can stream if you don't have a big budget. And to prove that, I made this playlist for streaming on a budget, and I'll see you there.